Have you ever wondered if you were on the right track in building your business, but you needed or maybe you wanted to pivot? It happens. Trust me. Well, today I have an amazing husband and wife team that did just that. And I'll tell you what, it's a true inspiration for all of us. Oh boy, this is going to be a good one. Well, hey, hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Amazing Seller Podcast. This is episode number 776. My name is Scott Boker, and I'm here to help you build a future-proof business so you can create the ultimate freedom. But, and there's always a but, you got to take what you learn here from this podcast and take action, and you can become the amazing seller of your life. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. All right. Well, like I said, you're in for a treat because if you're anything like me, there's always a time in my career, in my business, in my life that I need to make a change, or we also call this a pivot. And the pivot could be you picked a market and then you found out that you need to pivot in that market in order to be competitive, or it could be you're doing this business, you fell out of love with the business and you want to do something else. And in this story that you're going to hear today, from Mike and Mariska, they are going to share their story, how they started going down the e-commerce path, and then from there, how it led them to where they own and operate a design company. And that design company, you might have even used, the name of their company is Outline Matic. And they were also sponsors at our event at Brand Accelerator Live. Amazing people. I got to meet them in person, but also we got to do this interview because I really wanted to get on and hear their story. Now, they will share some of their insights from working with tons of brands and how they're building out their brand with design and packaging and all of that stuff. So you're going to hear about that as well. So you're going to pick up some nuggets there. But I really wanted to hear about the story on how this even happened for them. And I'll tell you what, I was blown away. I was inspired. I was motivated. And it also made me say, wow, I didn't have it so bad. Like there's a lot of things that we think are obstacles for us. But when you hear someone else's story, you figure out that, you know what? I think I had it a little bit easier. I had, uh, you know, not as many obstacles or maybe different obstacles, and I'm glad I didn't have those, right? We all kind of think like that. So the reason why I wanted to have them on, like I said, is to share their story, to inspire you, but also teach you that it's okay to feel as though you need to pivot or how to pivot. I mean, heck, you've been listening to this podcast if you've been listening for uh, four and a half, uh, five years now, you're going to probably understand that, well, Scott was talking about Amazon primarily in the beginning, and now Scott is talking about building a brand. We're still using Amazon, but it's not the the entire focus. Uh, so again, it's a pivot. We made a slight pivot. I used to be in the photography business. I used to own a brick and mortar store. We pivoted to online. Then from online, we pivoted in the photography space over to where we were doing eBay sales. And then from there, uh, we started to do Amazon sales. And that led me to where I am. These are pivots. All right. So again, I'm going to stop talking so you can listen to this interview that I did with Mike and Mariska. Great people. If you ever get a chance, if you're at Brand Accelerator Live in 2020, which if you haven't went over there and checked out tickets, head on over to brandacceleratorlive.com if they're available right now. Currently, whenever you're listening to this, if not, jump on the wait list and we'll let you know when they are. Great people, and I can't wait to share this episode with you. And once again, outlinematic.com. Check them out. Great people. If you need some design work, if you need them to help you come up with ideas for design, they're the people you want to go to. All right, so I'm going to stop talking so you can listen to this amazing conversation that I had with Mike and Mariska. Enjoy. Well, hello, Mike and Mariska. What's up? Thank you so much for coming on the podcast. How are you guys doing? We're good. good. How are you? Well, I'm doing. I'm doing well. And you and I, and uh, you know, the Yankees aren't doing so well. But uh, you know, we <laughs> talked a little bit about that before we got on here. We won't go into that. But uh, yeah, you guys no. have a dog named Yankees. Is that or Yankee? Is that is that? Yeah, real? his name's Yankee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Poor dog. <Sorry. laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hysterical. Uh, that is funny. But no, I, seriously, you you guys, we, we've been uh, we've been back and forth talking back and forth for a couple of years now. I mm-hmm. um, wanted yeah. to get you on the show. I think I did a podcast a while back with some tips and stuff that you guys had given me to to kind of report back on on images and, and photos and 
and how to improve your listings and stuff. And uh, you were recently at Brand Accelerator Live, one of our one of our partners, one of our sponsors, and uh, it was awesome that you guys were there. But I wanted to get you guys on. I said, you know, we got to lock in a date. We got to get you guys on, and we got to number one. I want to hear your story because I want to hear how the heck you even got into this part of the business. And then from there, I want to talk about how we can help some sellers from just the things that you've learned from working with so many sellers over these past few years. So um, why don't you guys kick it off? Why don't you just introduce yourselves and kind of let everyone know and myself like a little bit more about your story? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I'll, I'll let Michael tell the story, but um, my name is Mariska Harris and I'm originally from South Africa. And yeah, me and Michael started the business in 2016. So Outline Magic began in 2016, and um, yeah, but he he's the one who actually had the the brain storm of the entire business. So I can just let him tell the story. Yeah, so it's actually we wanted to sell on Amazon um, in January 2016. We okay. started looking to sell on Amazon. We were still living in in South Africa at the time. Mm. And um, we've been, we at that time we used to come to the US a lot, you know, a few times a year. So we've always wanted to live in the US, and um, we decided that we want to sell on Amazon. But the thing is, you're not actually uh, able to sell on Amazon from South Africa. It's not a listed country. Mm-hmm. So um, we were lucky. We had an LLC registered in the US with a tax number and a bank account and all that. So we were able to bypass that. But The other problem was um, we didn't want to send our products directly to Amazon at the time. And it was just impossible to send it to South Africa and then to to the US. It was way too expensive. Mm. But um, because I wanted to sell on Amazon, I was on a few groups. And I actually started listening to your podcast um, somewhere in 2016. Okay. And um, I joined a bunch of Facebook groups. And I actually saw a lot of people who um, want like design work done, packaging and logos and, you know, images edited and things like that. And at the time, she was working for a company, I'd rather not mention it, but they manufacture baby products um, in in South Africa, but they they have a big brand in the U.S. as well. It's like a baby seat. Okay. Most people will probably know what I talk about now, but um, she used to work for them and she did the product design for them. Oh wow! So um, yeah, she she uh, studied industrial design. So her speciality was product design at the time. Mm. But she she did a lot of packaging design and things like that as well. And um, so I decided it's not going to work to sell at Amazon at that time. We should maybe just start a business where we can help people with design work mm. for especially specifically people who sell on Amazon. Mm. And um, So Mariska started doing some freelance work um, on the side and then we built a website and we eventually got some traction. I think it was, um, I wrote it down here in June, 2016 um, that we really started picking up. And then um, we, Mariska wanted to leave her job because the (laughs) the workload got, you know, doing that. And she was the only person doing it at, at, at the time. Yeah, I was like working like 16 to 18 hours a day. Yeah, it, it, wow. it got bad. Wow. And I kept saying, if we make X amount of money, you can leave your job. You know, it was... Mm. Yeah, that never happened. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> more every time. Yeah, we, we got to the amount and then we said, okay, maybe just a bit more. To, be, to You know, it, it, it always happens like that to us. And eventually she got fired for working <laughs> on other projects at work. So okay. um, but, but I was probably the happiest person ever to get fired. Oh, yeah. so. <laughs> <laughs> I was walking out there with a smile. Yeah. You were trying I, I, to I, get fired. Oh, she was actually. Yeah. Like, I didn't want her to quit. So she was like, I'm fired yeah. now. You yeah. don't have a choice anymore. So we got to make this work. Yeah. yeah. And looking back, it was actually a really good thing that that happened because um, uh, like a month after that, it, yeah. uh, giving more attention to the business and that we, we actually picked up a lot. And um, basically from there, we've she's been doing that full time ever since. Yeah. Um, we I still have a business in South Africa. It's a family business that I'm still a part of. It's a car dealership. Mm-hmm. And um, we actually had to use that business and Alpine Matic to uh, get a visa to come and stay in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And we had to employ people, and, um, and that's all part of the of the visa and to keep the visa. So um, we just jumped into it, and like you say, say you know, you always say take action, and that's basically mm-hmm. what we did, and it worked out. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I love the story. Now, before we go any further though, so were you, were you two both originally from South Africa? Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. So you guys were born and raised there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. And so what was the, what was the, I guess the reason for wanting to come to the U S and I'm always just curious, like what, what was, yeah, the- no, oh. we, South Africa is a beautiful country and we love living. Well, love living, living there. But mm. the problem is, um, in my opinion at the moment, it's not the best place to raise a family or to do business. Okay. And, um, yeah, that, that's the main reason we decided that we want to come to the U S before we start a family, we want to live in the U.S. permanently. Mm. So um, we just came for a holiday in like 2014. 14 was the first time. Yeah, yeah. so we were in New York and in Florida over Christmas and stuff, mm-hmm. and we absolutely loved it. We couldn't wait to come back, and like okay. since then we've come, came back every time for longer and longer and longer, and yeah. to, to the point where we're not going back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you're here now. Yeah, uh, you, you guys were. You guys went to. Did you go to New York City? Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah that's the first place. Yeah, okay. we were. Did you guys ever York. head up north? Did you guys ever go up towards the Adirondacks or anything in New York? Oh, oh no. no, we were okay. just in the. Oh, you should go yeah. there. I, that, that's where I grew up, and that's where oh, I was yeah? raised. I was raised in upstate New York, so outside oh, okay. well, of like Albany, which is um, um, probably I'd say you're about three and a half hours from the city of mm-hmm. Albany, but then Albany, we were north of that even in Saratoga Springs, like horse races is yeah. like, like the harness track is like in the, in the uh, flat track is really well known. Like celebrities go there. Um, really beautiful place. I moved out of there just because I didn't like the cold weather and the snow oh, yeah. and I didn't like the taxes. So oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> so we got out of there, but it took me 40 years to get out of there. So, uh, <laughs> but here we are in South Carolina, which we love it here. But uh, yeah, I'm just, I was just curious. So you went to Florida then, and, or I'm um, sorry, New York, Florida, and then you kind of chose mm-hmm. Florida. Smart move, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Nice yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Much nicer. Really. It can yeah. get out in the summer, but it's really nice. Like I'll the take moon, the heat. It's, it's yeah. As well. yeah. I'll take yeah, the heat for sure. any yeah. day. Um, okay, cool. So, all right. And, and again, I, I love to kind of highlight these, these moments because in my book, I just wrote a book to take action mm-hmm. effect. And in that book is there's these moments that something happens that forever changes like your life, right? Like, I mean, there, there's like these, these things that we don't realize, like that is what allowed us to get to where we are. And you guys are still on the journey. Like it's, mm-hmm. the, the journey hasn't ended and it never ends. Oh, yeah. um, but for you guys to, to, you know, have this, oh, we're going to sell. Oh, we can't sell. So what else could we do? Oh, we have a graphic design thing. Okay, well, maybe we could help with that. You freelance with that. You get fired. Boom, boom, boom. It, it all just kind of leads, but it also teaches you through every experience. And I'm sure it hasn't been easy, right? You've learned. Oh, through, oh uh, we've learned a lot. Oh, you yeah. Know? You've learned and, a ton. Uh, we, we did a bunch of stuff. We sold um, anything you can think of. Coloring <laughs> books, yeah. um, phone cases. We did yeah. drop shipping. We, we did a bunch of stuff before... Yeah. Yeah, we started this and we sat on this website for almost a year before we finished it. So yeah, yeah it's yeah. Yeah, no, it's 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 really uh it's pretty interesting on how it, it kind of takes you to where you are. But you had a skill set already though, mm-hmm. uh, Mariska. I mean you had like uh you know a design and and and, and so oh, you're yeah. like, how can I take this skill set and apply it to you know, this over here where people need this help, like they don't want the des- they don't want to be the designer, they don't wanna be the graphic designer and the product designer. So you just took that skill set and adapted. And I love that. I mean, you just kind of piggybacked off of that. Now, Mike, did you have anything as far as like graphic design or were you interested in? Like, what was your background as far as that part of it? Or were you just like, I'm going to be the marketing guy? Yeah, I'm, I'm just doing the marketing. I absolutely suck at graphic design. <laughs> All right. Well, I love that. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I struggle to, to, to draw stick figures. So yes. I, I, I still like it. I always have appreciation if someone is good at drawing and mm-hmm. you know graphic design and things like that. So um, yeah, I, I just decided to do the marketing part. And mm-hmm. um, that's basically what I concentrate on. And a few other things on the sideline as well. He's, he's very good with numbers. Yeah, mm. I. That's I like a, you need that. that. You need that. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's funny because when my wife and I did our photography business years ago, she was the creator. Like she was the oh, eye, yeah. and I was just like, I can do Photoshop. Like I can learn that, and I did. But then I I fell in love with like the marketing side of things, and oh, yeah. that's where I seen that that's where I wanted to play. So I'll oh, get yeah. the people, and then you can just go ahead and t- and do your job, and you know, like photograph them and. It worked out really well, you know. It really yeah, well, did. that's exactly what we do. Yeah, exactly yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. Um, all right, so take take this 
take us through um, the journey to how you even got this up off the ground, started to get some client work. And then from there, I want to, I want to move into like what you've learned um, from working with sellers to help them get some more conversions out of their product and their listings and stuff and some, and some mistakes that people can, can avoid whether they hire your company or not. Yeah. So, um, we started the website, like I said, in June, 2016, Mm -hmm. but we had the website a few months before that. And actually we, yeah, the business was started in June, 2016, but the the website wasn't launched. We just did some, well, she did some freelance work and Mm -hmm. I got some clients off of Facebook. And, um, then when the website launched, we, um, did some Facebook ads Mm-hmm. Um, which I still struggle with to, till today, mm-hmm. um, to, especially for, for our specific thing. I just struggle, struggle to target people. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, we, we got some traction with the Facebook ads and also some Google ads mm-hmm. um, at the beginning. And um, we were mentioned on some podcasts, um, one of which actually a year after we launched yeah. um, in August um, 2017, 17. I think, was actually your podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, one um, of our clients was interview by you, yeah. Brian. Mm-hmm. Brian, he was actually also at uh, Brand, Brand Accelerator. Accelerator. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Really nice guy. And um, we, we did some of his branding and he went on your podcast and that helped us a lot, actually. Mm-hmm. And um, so uh, we went on some other podcasts as well, got some affiliates. That's that's basically where we get the, the bulk of our clients now. Sure. And um, yeah, that's how we started as well. Mm. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think there's anything that, um, that, you know, Trump's going out there and, you know, getting some good word of mouth or Mm -hmm. someone that is referring you or recommending you. Um, obviously I was, I was referred to you by that guest. Mm -hmm. And then that, then, so I'm like, well, this person's swearing by like, these guys did a great job that actually helped them get more. I think they actually were selling their business too. Yeah. And by you having better graphics actually help them increase sales, which also then increase the multiple, which yeah. is huge. Um, so again, I, I, the, the more that you get out there, like you guys are doing and you guys are, I mean, you guys are active in the community and all that stuff. And I think you guys are also building up a good rapport with people, mm-hmm. you know, not just, you know, influencers, but just people in general. And the, the more that you do yeah. that, I mean, you know, it's like word of mouth. There's nothing that beats that type of advertising yeah, at yeah. all. You know, um, okay. So let's let's kind of move into like so people right now, and let me just say like, and we won't get into this, but like Amazon has changed, and you guys have seen it. Like the, the marketplace, the landscape, the competitiveness, the counterfeits, like all of that stuff. Oh yeah, it's changed, right? Like, I mean, we all agree. Like, it's a different world out there in Amazon land. Um, and so, what I want to do though is I want to I want to give people like things that you've been working with people over the past, you know, couple of years design wise, like, like what, what has made a difference for people when you're helping them that they could either say, Oh, well maybe we should have that done or, Oh, maybe I can make that small tweak. Is there anything that comes to mind from working with, um, you know, so many sellers that you've already helped? Well, one of the things that I can mention that from the time we started, um, you could basically still just put a product on Amazon without really trying to build a brand, and you'll you'll mm-hmm. see you would still do okay. Yeah, but um, that changed the uh, like you would know it, it changed a lot throughout the past two to three years, um, mm-hmm. uh, especially the last year um, with all the competitiveness on Amazon and um, everyone trying to do it. But uh, that's why we also strongly b- believe in building a brand. Mm-hmm. Um, that's uh, it, it falls within your message, and that's why we love it. Mm-hmm. Um, building a brand on Amazon and especially off of Amazon mm-hmm. um, so that you're not only reliant on that. And for us, we believe to do that, you need a brand image. And that can be your logo, that can be your packaging. Your brand obviously is a lot more than just your mm. um, how good your packaging or your logo looks, but um, it starts with that in, in a way. Mm. So um, we decided to help people with that part especially because it's getting more competitive on Amazon. Counterfeits yeah. are Crazy. a big thing. Um, having your own packaging logo, things like that, always make it more difficult for someone to just completely copy you. Mm. So um, that's something that we believe in is, is to build that brand out. But yeah. I think she'll have some more tips. I mean, something that's uh, very recent is that tra- transparency grid 
pixel that you add onto the packaging. Mm -hmm. So we started doing that now as well. Um, but the thing is, what I always try and tell people is definitely if you have a brand, you can keep that brand constant throughout everything from your logo to your packaging, your inserts, your images, the way you um, pr present yourself on social media, um, on your website, everything. And everything comes down to that brand. Your brand is basically your your mm -hmm. identity. It's your reputation. It's something that um, I strongly recommend. When people come to us and they're like, I don't want a logo. I just want this. I always tell them mm -hmm. you have to do a logo. You have to have that connection between a brand and a product. So because if you eventually want to um, go into that category and actually bring out more products, then you're going to, have an established brand and that's mm. something that's very important and a lot of our clients that have the brands that um, has been established has come back to us to expand into new products and that's amazing and it's good for us to see how their brand is growing and mm. to be part of that is just amazing so let me ask you this, because this is something that I know a lot of people struggle with, including myself, even like when you're starting a new brand from scratch, uh, it's, you know, like it's important to really think through the branding, but then sometimes people can get hung up on the branding, right? They're like, oh, well, I don't know if I love the logo or I don't know if I love those colors and I don't know if I love that design. Like, what would you, like, what's the first steps? Like if you're working with someone and do do you guys do that? Do you guys do like brand, like, creation or like you know what i mean like where you think through even like the color palette and like oh yeah you so you help people through i i didn't even know that that you guys help with that part of it as well i thought you guys would just take and i know you guys create logos and all that stuff and you guys yeah. do an amazing job but i didn't know that you actually went through that whole thought process yeah well the thing is <laughs> definitely people get hung up like you said the, the first thing i would say is like don't try and be perfect from the start because right. Things are never perfect. Sometimes you just yeah. have to you have to go with it. If if you if you don't have that feeling that you want, definitely don't don't go for it. Then then right. then explore a bit more. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, we've seen it with ourselves. We're not completely happy with our logo, <laughs> but it's our logo right. now, and we've right. learned to love it, to, right. it, to love it. So. Yeah, but the thing is, with our logos, that's why we provide people with um, six different concept directions to choose and combine from, mm -hmm. because that helps them to to see what's possible. Um, sometimes they give us a direction, and then we'll do like a feel in their direction, and then we'll do um, things that are trending at the moment. And sometimes people love what's trending, sometimes people hate what's trending. It mm -hmm. really depends on your personal preference, and people tend to unfortunately have that personal preference for the logo a lot of the times but it's not necessarily what's the best for their product for instance if you have something that you want to embed your logo on or mold your logo into mm. and you have a super detailed logo mm. it's not going to work and we try and we always try and help people you know with that we try and to in bring that message of like simplicity is your mm. best buddy when mm. it comes to things like that. That's going to be the thing that's more memorable. Sometimes the most simple thing is the more memorable thing as well. So Yeah, no, I, I love the simplicity uh, of design and keeping things clean. When they get kind of, when they kind of get busy, they get muddy and then it's, mm -hmm. uh, it just, to me, it cheapens it sometimes too. Yeah. Um, so I do like simplicity. Um, so I'm a huge fan of that. And I agree. I think that like to go through that process and I mean, that's it. Sometimes that can be an extensive process. I mean, you can go through like a mood board and like, like, you know, like, what do you, what kind of feel do you want? Like, what is your, your brand, your brand's a baby brand. So you're not yeah. going to have like harsh, like a hard red or so, you know what I mean? Like yeah. you really have yeah. something that's softer and you know what I mean? Like, so there is a lot of that goes in, but there's people like, you know, you know, that don't know like design mm -hmm. like, they're like, they have no idea. They're just like, yeah, I'll just use clip art and just stick something on. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Um, but like you said, I think it's more and more important when you get to that point that you at least have the basic framework set. And like you said, yeah. then you carry it throughout. And like you said, Mariska, you said like you want it on your, your logo, but then you want it on your insert and then you want it on your box and then you want it on your website. And and everything carries through. It feels like a brand versus just a one-off product. 
Yeah. You know, um, talk, talk a little bit about that. Cause you brought up, um, being able to embed the logo into your design or your packaging. And I think this is huge. And if you're not already doing this, if you're listening to this and you're, and you haven't done this, definitely start, if you can, if your product lends itself to it, um, embossing like that logo into that, that metal or the plastic or the silicone or, and if you have a tag, then put a tag, like you definitely need to be doing that nowadays. You have to be, would you agree? Yeah, no, definitely. Mm. As, as much as possible, you have to get your brand recognized. Mm. It doesn't matter where, where you yeah. apply it. Just yeah. get it and, out there. And even sometimes just doing that, the product can feel so much more you know, like expensive, premium, premium yeah. if yeah. it just has the logo embedded on the product yeah. or, you know, like you said, in the middle or something. It can feel so much more premium mm. just because the logo is on there mm. um, compared to... Otherwise, the, it feels just like a no-name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I, I agree with you. It's kind of like just like a generic product that you yeah, have. Oh, yeah. Generic, that's like a dollar like store or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know exactly. what I mean? Um, okay. And so let, let's kind of walk through then. You you guys like you guys do a lot of graphics and a lot of design work. What is like what's one of the bigger things that you guys are doing? The one I guess the more popular things that you guys are doing. Is it the packaging itself? Is it inserts? Is it like you know, like, oh, uh, yeah, definitely like the packaging. Packaging? Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, but definitely. I mean, who doesn't love a nice package? Mm. Even if you're in the shop, you, you packaging is definitely something that attracts you. Uh, attracts mm. you. And I mean, who doesn't like getting a nice box that looks like a gift box or something? Mm. Or, um, you know, anything that makes the entire product just come together. And that's that's the packaging. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I always say that when I get a, a product from Amazon, which with her is almost daily, <laughs> but you yeah. w- w- <laughs> when you get the box and you you open the Amazon box and it's just a poly bag in there, it, it already cheapens the product uh, for me compared to just mm-hmm. taking that same product, putting it in nice packaging. You can even what that product the packaging costs you just double that, add it to the price, you make your money back on that, and you you get a a bit more profit out of it just Mm -hmm. because it's in a box and it it feels more premium that way. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the thing. Some people say that, you know, it's it's sold online. People don't care about the packaging, which I'm sure in some cases uh, that that may be so. But um, most of the time when you receive a product and it's already in a nice box and uh, packaging and all that, it it, it just feels more premium. I I absolutely agree. Actually, um, People that are listening aren't going to be able to see this, but I'll show you guys. I just I oh, yeah. got my aura ring just the other day. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. the aura ring? So yeah. I just got it and I didn't buy it on Amazon. They don't even sell it on Amazon. Mm-hmm. Got to get a sizing kit and everything. And I got my packaging right here. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, very so simple. simple. Yeah. But very so simple. Cool. But I'll tell you what, when you open it up, it's it's nice. It's got a nice, like, it's thick. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Right? Yeah. Got yeah. a little bit of a padding up there. And it's got mm-hmm. like where the, the ring was inserted with your charger. Yeah. And the box is like really kind of, you can just feel it. So, you know, I spent $300 on this ring, Oh yeah. right? But I got a nice box. I got it out. Yeah. It was kind of, I was excited to get it. It took mm-hmm. longer than I thought it was going to take, which kind of annoyed me, but then it also made me want it more. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, already. I want my ring. I want to try this thing out, right? <laughs> and I got it. But yeah, I mean, it's a whole process. And oh, yeah. um, and, and a funny side note is, um, well, I was at the event and um, I used the process of me figuring out that I was going to buy this thing. And I kind of used it as like a little case study. And, um, I actually mentioned in my Instagram story that I would, and I tagged them that I was going to get the ring. And then they, you know, sent something back and they're like, Oh, that's awesome. Can't wait. But then I also said that I was a little annoyed that, you know, I didn't, I was going to take three weeks to get it. And they're like, well, we do special order them from Finland or wherever, and we have to get them and we do them in batches. And so they were right on it. So their, their social media was great. But so far, I'm happy with it. But to, to your point, it's a very simple, simple mm. box, right? But it's so like it's silver. It's you know, it's got a nice look aura. I mean, it's yeah, it's no, it, that, that's nice packaging. It's memorable. And that's just nice. think if you receive the same ring, but just in a poly bag or something, mm. or just um, even in a little suede bag. Yeah, how, how, how big of a difference that would have made? Oh, with it, the, the it feel have, of it. If it, I got this in a plastic bag, yeah, I would have said this thing like it was like yeah. dollars. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Uh, another example, Nomad. Oh, yeah. Oh, These yeah. were earbud 
case holders for your ear pods. Um, mm-hmm. And I mean, it's got a magnet. You hear that click? Oh, yeah. That's you hear, that, awesome. you hear that little click? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? And then you <laughs> yeah, it up. And, and I mean, they've got a whole... They've got a whole set here. You guys would love this. So it's got like this little envelope that comes with it. That's amazing. Right? All of this. And mm-hmm. I mean, it's heavy. And then they give you stickers because now you're in the nomad, uh, you know, kind of, uh, you know, you're in the club and yeah. you have all kinds of stickers. But this this envelope has their story, what, you know, what they are, who they are. But again, if I would have gotten those, you know, that case in just a poly bag, Mm-hmm. I would have been like, what? But that takes some work to design that. Oh, yeah. 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 And I mean, you yeah. guys know, but look at and that. And they definitely invest in oh, that yeah. packaging. Yeah. But again, when I get this, it's premium. Yeah. Right? yeah. It, 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 it is a premium product. Um, you, I mean, the box is so hard. I mean, it's mm-hmm. I can't even like hardly bend it. So. And you don't want to throw that box away, yeah. do you? <laughs> no. I was actually going to, I actually, I was saving. I'm like, you know, I save all my darn boxes. And I, then I end up saying like, why the hell did I ever save that? Yeah, yeah, but yeah. The thing is so damn nice. I don't want to throw it away. And, uh, and the thing in your mind is always too like, well, if I ever resold it, it'd be nice to have the box. Oh yeah. And I'm like, yeah. I'm not reselling this. Like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? But you're right. I mean, I'm like, I can't throw that away. Maybe I'll turn it into a piece of content and I'll do a podcast episode or a video. You know what I mean? Like oh, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll use it for that. But, oh, here's another one too. I know we're doing this on the air, but you know, people have to watch the video on YouTube if we post it. Um, so th- this was the sizing kit. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Nice. So they, they, they send you this and they got you all the rings. I've actually seen the ad for that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Cool. Oh, they do a good retargeting ad with that. Yeah. So yeah. anyway, if you're listening, packaging is important. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, mean, I just gave two examples, which made me say like, wow, that was an expensive product, but it was well mm-hmm. worth it. And when yeah. I got it, I felt like they put time in the package as much mm-hmm. as they did on the product mm-hmm. um, and it's representing their brand and it's simple, but it's really the quality and I'm feeling it when I get it. I mean, have you ever gotten something? And like you said, Mike, it's like you get it and it's like in a poly bag and then you get something else that's in a car. It could be the same product and you're like, that, yeah. one's, that one's quality. Oh yeah. yeah. So yeah. I agree. Exactly. So that actually talk- happened in this week. So we both got yeah. oh, yeah? on covers one came yeah. in a nice box and the other one came in a poly bag and I'm like, mine's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, and that would be a good video for you guys to do, by the way. Just, just throwing a yeah, little. Yeah, actually. Oh, you guys yeah. should get, some, you know, guys, we just got something in the mail. You know, Mariska got hers in a plastic bag. I got mm-hmm. mine in this. I'm feeling mine's a better quality. This yeah. Better, not so much. If you, want, I, if you want good packaging, come on over to Outline Matic. You know, oh, yeah. there you and go. I, and I actually think I paid $8 <laughs> for mine. Yours was like 18 and it's basically, <laughs> you can see the quality is basically the same, but they can charge more just it's because same. it's, it feels more premium. It does. It justifies I, the price in a way. So I totally agree. Uh, you know, if you get a pair of Oakley glasses, you're going to get a nice box with the lenses and all that mm-hmm. stuff, or you can get the ones at the gas station that are hanging up on the thing for night. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah. That's like, a good example. Yeah. Right. I mean, come on. Uh, it's, it is pack packaging has a lot to do with it. So let's, so, let's talk about a little bit about what you guys offer. Um, I, I actually just went back over to your site. You guys did a little remod on the site too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah a while really back. Good. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Really, really good. I, I really love it. And, uh, it's really simple to navigate. Um, so I would definitely, um, definitely, uh, check out their services. Um, you can go through my link at the amazing seller.com forward slash Outline Matic. We'll also drop some uh, links in the show notes. But um, let's talk a little bit. It looks like you guys are offering photography. Did you always offer to photography? Did you guys add that? Uh, it's new. Yeah, it's new. It's been uh, about eight months now that we've um, offered that. It's a good idea. Um, yeah, we, we, we spend a lot of time perfecting it and making sure that the photographer we uh, hired does a great job. Mm. Um, obviously, that we, we know um, that the photography is a big thing, mm. um, just especially selling on Amazon. Um, they say that, you know, you remember 80% of what you see and only 20% of what you read. Mm-hmm. And um, I, I think especially on listings that um, images make a huge difference. When I look at a product on Amazon, Mm-hmm. and they only have two or three images on there uh it already I, i'm like always want to see more mm-hmm. especially if um if it's not good quality and um so that's why we we've always wanted to add the, the photography but we wanted to make sure that uh, we do a good job before we added it yeah. all the 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Small things. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that's smart to add that because I know I had um, sent people to you and asking them to ask you uh, oh, yeah. if, if you guys did that. And I knew I, I didn't know that you guys had added that in in the past eight months, but that's really good to yeah. know. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy to, to see that. Um, and I, again, I'm just going through your, your website now. So you have the package design, logo design, infographics, ebook design, which I think is mm-hmm. smart, um, mm-hmm. insert design, enhanced brand content. That's another big one too, is enhanced, oh, enhanced yeah. brand content. Oh, yeah. yeah. So all of that stuff. So yeah, you guys offer just about everything that you would need and very, yeah, we try and be in that one-stop shop for <laughs> everything that everyone needs on it. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's really, really good. So um, yeah, definitely check these guys out. Uh, I've had you guys on for probably a couple of years now. And um, anyone that's worked with you that has come back to me has said that they've been very, very happy. So um, definitely go check out Outline Matic. Um, and uh, yeah, definitely uh, just check out what they've done in the past for others and, and what they could possibly do for you. And if they have any questions, I'm sure they can just contact you, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you. sure. Anytime. They, they can email us at info at outlinematic.com or they can just go our, over to our website, uh, outlinematic.com, fill out a contact form or a brief, whatever. Yeah, we do yeah. consult. I'd like to do a free consultation if you um, want to know if you're on like the right track of your branding and mm-hmm. things like that. Mm-hmm. So we do that as well. So if people are just a bit unsure, we can mm. help them with that as well. No, I, I, I love that. And uh, I think that's great that people can just reach out and kind of have you give them a little bit of direction. Because I think a lot of times people struggle with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, and I love it that you guys are offering photography now. So yeah, that actually helps me because, <laughs> because uh, you know, I do know a lot of people that, uh, that need that. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of photographers out there um, that are now, you know, jumping kind of in this game. But I do like keeping it under one uh, you know, one, uh, you know, company and I know yeah, that yeah. they do a phenomenal job. Yeah. We've, we've actually been selling out of the photography even before it was on the website because we get emails daily asking if we do photography as well. Yeah. And so then we were like, we need to add that. Yeah. We, yes. we added it on, but it will probably, if, if we get to capacity, we'll just, you know, say it on the website, but mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, so far it's been, it's been going good. Yeah. yeah and it actually helped us as well because mm. if we, um, need to put a product of uh, image of the product on the packaging. We can actually now you know, take the photos and mm. then for the packaging, for the infographics, for mm. the inserts, and anything. So it helps us not having to wait on anyone else to get that from. Yeah, and the other thing I like that you offer with the photography is you're also offering a lifestyle um, image. Oh, so yeah. you, you know, it's not just the product on a white background. What you do offer mm-hmm. that too, because we need that for the yeah. Brand. Um, but I think that's really, really good. And the other thing that's really good is the infographics. I think people need to take advantage mm. of doing infographics, yeah. explaining what the product is, or even, you know, competition here, you here, yeah. like, what, yeah. are, what are, you know, yeah, what's yeah. the comparison, you know? Yeah. yeah. I'm a big believer in infographics. That's mm. a, infographics mm. sell me on a product. Yeah. I mean, I love going through infographics mm. and seeing what yeah. the features are I barely ever read the description. I just go through the images and that's what I tell our Mm -hmm. clients is don't like put a bunch of text there that no one's going to read on the infographics. Just put like a nice little icon and little um, description. If people want to read more, then they'll go and read your description. Mm -hmm. But just try and be as visual as possible and explain your product as visually as possible through your images so they don't have to think twice to even read through the description they that will sell them yeah and i think having those in the images and again to your point of being on brand being on color like all of that stuff it makes your brand look more legit to be quite honest yeah. it makes it seem more cohesive and um like you said i mean you could take those colors and then put them into your packaging you can do them into the inserts but then you can do them into your into your secondary images and then you just have that branding throughout um, so I really, really, uh, I really like that. And again, I think just to emphasize on keeping it simple and clean is also important, right? It's like not oh, over yeah. complicating, having a whole bunch of different colors, a whole bunch of different text, like all of yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I think the the bullet points are really there nowadays just for indexing to be quite honest. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. 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 You know, So you put yeah. that in there for the indexing for, for Amazon yeah. to know exactly what you're offering. But yeah. we're all visual people. Like we oh, yeah things and it also represents the quality um yeah so, yeah i i agree um so you know th- this has been great i i just I'm, I'm happy that you guys uh were able to uh to kind of discover 
this this niche of yours that you guys are able yeah. to kind of really, uh, you know, take. I don't want to even say take advantage of, but for you guys to take your strengths and then bring them into something oh, yeah. you guys can get behind. And you guys, I've seen you guys from the beginning and when mm-hmm. you started and to where you are now, and you guys are just, you know, you guys are, are just good people, but also you have a really, really solid brand. And that's why I do recommend you guys. And you guys were a sponsor at Brand, Ex- Brand Accelerator Live. But I also look at like, those are my partners. Those are the people that I, yeah. I truly believe in. And um, mm-hmm. yeah, you guys are definitely... Um, you know, one of that, one of those companies. So I just want to say thank you guys. And thank you guys for being at Brand Accelerator Live. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah, we, we want to thank you. I actually want to, I want to touch on Brand Accelerator Live. We mm-hmm. really nice. enjoyed it. Yeah. We haven't been to too many like live conferences mm-hmm. and things like that. But um, the, the nice thing was you had a bunch of amazing speakers. I've, mm-hmm. I actually spoke to a, a person that was at Brand Accelerator. Yeah, yeah you were with. Yeah. yeah. And he told us, um, we met him um, last year at a different, different conference, and he said um, he goes to many different conferences, even eBay, and mm-hmm. uh, he's, he goes to a bunch every year, and he said he was really impressed with the quality of speakers you had. Mm. And um, I have to agree. I wish I could have sat in more of the, <laughs> um, the presentations, yeah. but uh, yeah, it wasn't possible. But that's probably a good thing, but uh, because we were busy. Um, but yeah, I, I really think it was a great conference. And the, the other, people. yeah, the, the other thing we always see with the people you refer is um, a bunch of them are return clients. Um, mm. Or if we speak to them a year later, they still have their brand going. And um, mm. that, that just shows that um, whatever advice you're giving, it's working. Mm. So, Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. No, I, I agree. And I think Part of what made this event great was that we we had the right sponsors there. And mm-hmm. I hate calling them even sponsors because I look at them as a partners. They're our partners oh, yeah. in this. Yeah. And um, you know, we're yes, we're lending, you know, like our advice and stuff and our recommendation, but it's from people that we know like and trust as well. Yeah. And we encouraged people there to go and pick your brain. Like mm-hmm. go pick your brain, go pick Joe Valley's brain on selling your business yeah. or you know, yeah. design for you guys or you know, whatever you're there to give advice, not just sell your service. And when you build that relationship, people will naturally follow and they'll want to, they'll want to do business with you. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I really, I really enjoyed having you guys there and, um, you know, and, and like, like you said, I mean, the people there were just amazing. And, uh, and part of that is, is because of the community that we've built. And, uh, again, you guys are part of that. So I just want to say thank you. Um, so Thank yeah, you. let's, let's, let's wrap this up. So if people want to get more info, definitely head over to the amazing seller.com forward slash outline Matic. I'll also drop it in the show notes. If they want to send you something direct, they can just email you guys, right. Or go to the uh, yeah. website and yeah, yeah. contact form. Okay. Any last little bits of advice that you want to give people? Wrap this Take up. Take action. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And I like that. <laughs> well, I that I believe in that. I, actually, <laughs> listening to your podcast helped us start this, even though it wasn't on Amazon. Mm. Your business advice overall, it, it's really valuable. It yeah. I, I love hearing that. It, it's funny yeah. because a lot of people say, Scott, you helped me, you know, launch the e-commerce business and Amazon, mm-hmm. you know, product, whatever. Um, but I get a lot of people that come up and go, Scott, I want to start a podcast or Scott, I want to do oh, and yeah. I'm like, I love talking about that yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. not what I talk about all the time, but it's what I mm-hmm. genuinely enjoy yeah. talking about. I just enjoy like you guys had something that you guys could then take and then plug in and then learn mm-hmm. the other stuff. And to be a mm-hmm. part of that, even a small part of that, that's like, that's yeah. it. For me. So right. I appreciate that. But all right, guys, let's wrap this up. We'll probably have you guys back on though so we can do a little recap and do an update and see what's happening in uh, the world of e-commerce and and really just branding. I I do want to dive more into like even just going through a brand and maybe we can even do like a brand audit or something at some point. Kind of go through and see what, maybe even just pick one randomly and say, this is what they're doing great. And this is another Mm -hmm. one that they could be improving this because it's disconnected. And maybe we can do that. I think that would be uh, pretty useful. So yeah. Maybe we'll do that in the future. So that's a good idea. Anyway, guys, thank you. I appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you around. Thank Thanks you. for having us, Scott. Really appreciate it. All right. Well, I wasn't kidding, right? Great people. I mean, really, truly great people. I actually did a Zoom call with them. Uh, I'm going to be posting that on YouTube as well. So I will link this up in the show notes theamazingseller.com forward slash 776. And uh, when that video is available, I'll put it there too. So if you wanted to watch us, if you wanted to see those guys, um, definitely do that. And like I said, make sure if you are considering doing any design work for your products, 
for your, you know, your packaging, any of that stuff, they can help you with that. Logos, they even did a t-shirt design for us. So they do a lot. So just make sure that you check them out. And the cool thing is, is their support is top notch and they will help you as much as they possibly can. So check out outlinematic.com. Again, outlinematic.com. And uh, even if you just want to go over and say hello, do it and uh, let them know that you appreciate them because they are great great people. And I'm so glad that uh, their pivot happened because now we have some really good design people that uh, we can use. So it's pretty awesome. So again, want to thank them. I want to thank you guys for listening. And I wanted to remind you about the show notes, theamazingseller.com forward slash 776. And definitely go check out Outline Matic. All right, guys, that's it. That's going to wrap it up. As always, remember, I'm here for you. I believe in you and I am rooting for you. But you have to, you have to come on. Say it with me, say it loud, say it proud, take action. Have an awesome, amazing day. I'll see you right back here on the next episode. Hey, before you go, could you do me one quick favor? If you haven't done so already, can you head over to iTunes and can you leave me a review over there? I would really love to hear how this podcast has helped you in one way, shape, or form. And oh, by the way, I read every single one of them. And actually, I'm going to read one right now. And this one came in recently from Alan V. And he said, this is the best podcast that delivers not only free, but most important, very well organized content to help you understand and know what you have to do in your brand and Amazon business. Scott is very energetic. No, really? (laughs) And smart about organizing lots of information into little baby steps to help me take action. Thank you very much, Scott, for being an inspiration and for delivering so, so much. There was a lot of O's there. So again, I read every single one of them. I appreciate all of you. And I would really appreciate it if you would leave me one of your own reviews there as well. And if you haven't also subscribed yet to the podcast, if you can do that, that would be amazing. Talk to you later. Bye.